Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins, Realtor and uh, Listing Guru of California. Um, I wanted to talk with Randy Perry. He is our mortgage officer um, here in Southern California and we just wanted to kind of go over some things because it is crazy out there. Crazy uh, market. Yeah, it's crazy market right now. I feel like things are going crazy. Um, it, you'd think that the, the real estate market would slow down right now, but I, I really haven't seen a lot of that. There have been some instances from other people that I've talked to that have said, you know, oh, we're going to cancel because we both just lost our jobs and, you know, that sort of thing. I really kind of wanted to touch on the first thing is the Fed 0% mortgage or interest rate that everybody keeps talking about and whether that's actually going to affect mortgages or what exactly that is. Right, right. Good thing to touch on, Brian. So um, the Fed dropping the Fed rate down to zero actually had very little impact on mortgages. Um, all the Fed rate is is a way for banks to loan money to one another. So the Fed rate allows bank A to borrow from bank B at a low cost, and then that keeps liquidity or credit in the market. So that's really all the Fed rate did. Uh, what the Fed did do at the time on Friday when they made that announcement, or I should say over the weekend, when they made that announcement, is they pledged to buy mortgage-backed securities, which are mortgage loans on Wall Street, they're bonds. So when they flooded the market to buy bonds, we saw a dip in interest rates because the rates were starting to creep up a little bit. Since then, we've had rates go up again slightly, but we're expecting them to come back down within the next few days once uh, some of this craziness gets back to normal. Because sure. Right now, coronavirus, a shutdown in California, or a a stay in your home order. These things right now are not helping, but at the same time, it's not hurting because the phone is ringing off the phone. I mean, it's a great opportunity still to buy and sell and save. I mean, always, they, everybody says who does any sort of investing, real estate is always the most long-term, the best investing strategy you can have because, you know, over time, historically, you know, even when prices on homes fall, um, which we don't expect to see a lot of, when right. prices fall, they still end up going up and you still end up having it. It's just not affecting the market as crazy as um, some people believe. And there's a lot of people out there that believe that everything's crashing and everything, you know, and that's just not, that's just not the case. So I agree because that crash we're seeing is more in the stock market, not so much in the housing market. So if you look back, the best time to buy a home was last time in 08 when the market completely crashed. Yeah. Anybody that bought there did great. So I always had a, a saying, and it's maybe not the best, but if there's blood in the streets, that's when you buy. When people are uncertain, when there's, there's a market where people are scared, that's when you come in and you make an investment. You don't buy when everybody's greedy. You buy when people are a little bit fearful because more people pull back and then you have more opportunity. So that's why I see so much opportunity right now in the market. Yeah, exactly. No, that's, that's exactly right. Um, so I kind of wanted to touch on like why everything kind of fluctuates in this market, you know, like when the stock market drops. Um, you know, All right. Yeah. I mean, we know that, you know, people are going to start panicking and um, that's, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why there's such fluctuations in the market right now. Um, we know that what, last week, um, today is the 20th. So today's March 20th, um, 2020. And this is when, you know, it's Friday. So we're, we're about a week into this whole, you know, quarantine major situation. Um, but we know like, what, two weeks ago, the interest rates were getting to be so low that what mortgage, like you guys were at your volume limit, right? You couldn't even loan any more yeah. money. Yeah, lenders were at capacity for sure. I mean, I heard of lenders taking three to four days to call people back. Um, luckily, I was still within the same day, but, you know, trudging through everything that was going on. But yeah, about two, two and a half weeks ago, maybe even three, uh, don't quote me on it. It's a blur right now. But what we've seen is rates down at like three range for a 30-year fix. Yeah. We saw two and a half on a 15-year fix. Wow. So we've seen some some bump up on that and then rates come down and they go up. And right now we just have a lot of fluctuation in the market. But the best thing to do is if you're looking to buy or you're looking to refinance, get your application in, start the process, let the loan officer do their job, keep an eye on rates, mm -hmm. um, manage that, lock in the rate when the time is right, let the realtor go out there and find a house. I and mean, that's going to be the best thing to do right now is get the process going and then do your best to secure a great rate. And if you're comfortable at the time with the payment, my advice as a loan officer is just lock in the rate. If you like the payment, you like the rate, lock it in. Um, yeah. You always have to have somewhere to live. You're either going to rent, you're going to buy. What's better than, than owning your own house? And if you like the payment, go for it. It's the best thing you could do right now. 
Yeah, really it is. I mean, having, building that equity, starting now and building that equity, you know, um, even in a year, you know, you can have, you could have some equity there that you could borrow against if things get crazy or, you know, even crazier, right. I should say. And then you have that a little bit more of that security. And then bottom line Definitely. is you have a house that you, you know, own and that you don't have to worry about necessarily being, you know, a landlord coming in and changing your mind for you and be like, uh, I got to sell this house right now and you're out. Right. Like, sorry, you're homeless during, you know, a stay at home event. You know what I mean? So. And I was just going to say that, I mean, what more security can you have than having your own place? I mean, you're going to pay rent or you're going to buy. Yeah. Why not own? Why not be in control of that? So that way you're not worried if your landlord's going to make a decision for you. Yeah. Well, that kind of covered, I was going to ask what the best advice was for rate locking. If you, if you're already in the process of buying a home and, um, you had been talking to your lender and you didn't have a, a rate lock yet, like what would be the best advice? But you clearly just answered that all by yourself without even any prompting. So that was fantastic. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, talk to the loan officer, whether you work with Brian and I, or you work with somebody else, just yeah. talk to that loan officer, communicate with them. Hopefully it's me, but if not, that's okay. Uh, just make sure you communicate, talk <laughs> about where rates are, make sure you know what's going on and, and lock in your comfortable, lock in that rate. Because honestly, all the rates today are really good, but of course we all want the loans. Yeah, um, and of course, you know, if any questions um, about the market condition, like a lot of people have been calling me asking like, well, should I sell my house right now? And, you know, I mean, prices are still where they were last week and um, they're still above, you know, where, where anybody would assume that they would be uh, right now. And like prices are still going up and honestly, if you're thinking about selling your home, you can still go ahead and do that. But there are people that are still being approved for loans. Um, I, I'm taking new listings. I have new buyers. Like everything is moving along like normal. Um, we it is changing the way that we do things. Um, for me personally, you know, I feel like I work in an office, but I don't have anybody else in my office. Um, I, I'm doing virtual showings. I can take um, virtual, they take 360 degree pictures and do virtual tours, that sort of thing. Uh, every, all the documents that I would sign in person, I now a hundred percent digital signatures. So we never have to cross paperwork or, you know, do all of that stuff. Um, I know Randy point. here, he's working, you know, out of his house now and, um, you know, processing loans like normal. So why well, have you done yeah. anything else different, you know, from your normal routine? You know, we're, we're open business as usual. I can't say business as usual because we all know what's going on is not usual, but the truth is it is business as usual for us. Um, underwriters, funders, people are working from home, loan officers, there's still people in the office, we're open. Uh, being a financial company, we're deemed an essential business, so luckily yeah. we get to stay open. Um, like you said, most disclosures, most paperwork that we're working with can all be done electronically. And then at the end, the only real contact you'd have to have is with the notary when you're signing your final loan box. So, I mean, it's, pretty, it's a seamless process right now. We're not seeing too much interruption and we're just taking it one day at a time, but at the same time, doing a lot of business work. Sure. I like it. Cool. Well, um, we got the numbers on the screen here. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either one of us. And um, uh, if you're interested in looking at how much a payment would be or whatever, um, there's an app that you can download. It'll be in the uh, description below, a link to that. It's the Platinum Horn Mortgage app. And you can, the calculators on there are pretty fantastic. And frankly, when I've used them in the past and to do estimates, they are as close to the closing amount um, as far as your total fees and everything. Like it, it is a very, very accurate calculator and I've tested a lot of them. Um, this one is absolutely the best calculator that I've come across. So I use it exclusively now. Um, anyway, hear that Brian, yeah. we worked on that one for a while. <laughs> That's good. Well, it is phenomenal. So awesome. you guys nailed it for sure. Um, but yeah, if, the, if anybody out there has questions, Randy and I are both available and um, that's pretty much all I got now. Definitely. So. Feel free to reach out, talk about payment options, loan programs, uh, different things in the market that we can do to help you. And don't forget, we have a ton of down payment assistance. I mean, Brian and I just helped somebody purchase a home and I think at the end of the day, it maybe cost them about $1,200. So yeah. we're not going to promise that every time, but with his negotiation, uh, looking into uh, getting the seller to help with closing costs, the down payment assistance, I mean, honestly, we can probably get you in for less than the cost to uh, do a deposit on a rental. Or so a reach out. Or, or less than a decent Costco shopping trip right now. Oh, yeah. And we'll even throw in a roll of toilet paper if you close with us. So we got you covered. That's right. 
And it's not generic. It's good. <laughs> All right, thanks, thank you Brian. very much, and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks, guys.